luxury just isn't enough, the need for speed takes over, hence the birth of supercars. Some builders of these high-performance supercars, which are on display at the Geneva Motor Show ending March 16th, are selling models faster than they can build them. Anglo-Polish company Arenera are here for their slice of the action and Arik Kuric is in the studio with me today to tell us more. Arik, thank you so much for coming in today. Thank you for the invitation. Okay, now first of all, if you take us back to the history of Arenera from Poland to the UK, can you tell us a little bit about this please? Yes, uh, in the year 2007, uh, Łukasz Tomkiewicz, who is the CEO of Alinera Automotive Poland, and I founded uh, the Venture Capital. And uh, in a few months, we have listed this company in Warsaw. Uh, it was uh, February 2008. Uh, just after this, Alinera Automotive was uh, established by Veno as the only owner. Uh, later on, we have attracted a number of private investors to uh, invest in the project. Just by the sound of it, supercar, it instantly grabs your attention. But can you tell us a little bit about why you decided to get involved in this? We have found the niche in this, uh, in this market, uh, in this, especially this segment of supercars. Uh, we would like to uh, build a car that uh, has 700 horsepower, uh, 3.2 seconds to accelerate to 100 kilometers per hour. Mm, and uh, maximum speed uh, 320 kilometers. And uh, mm, having beautiful design of Arinera Husaria and uh, having a really good starting price because we would like to have the starting price of the car uh, 133,000 euro. Mm, we believe it will be a very good, uh, very nice design, very good product. Uh, what is in interesting that, mm, for example, uh, the design uh, chief of Jaguar is a Polish. So uh, we have designed also the body of the car in Poland. At the moment we do cooperate with uh, engineers, uh, not only in Poland but uh, also in the UK. And combining uh, our design with technology, with the UK technology, uh, could have uh, a finally really great car. Yeah, this is the, the picture of the, the model behind yes. us, isn't it? And it's got an interesting name, tell us. Uh, Arinera Husaria. Okay. And there's an interesting story behind that as well, or the, what it means for those of us who, who are perhaps unfamiliar with the term. Uh, the word Arinera comes from Italian and Basque, and it means uh, really streamlined. Uh, the name Husaria comes from Polish soldiers who uh, 200 uh, years ago were fighting and never lost uh, the battle. Okay, so that's a definitely a good kind of emblem to, to take with you there. But you guys have been here in Geneva. You were at the car show uh, yesterday. And what were you sort of hoping to gain from this? And what was your impressions of it as well? Well, this is uh, one of the biggest European motor shows. And uh, we have come here for reconnaissance to see how other uh, companies present their cars. Uh, because we would like to be here for the whole uh, show next year, presenting um, Arinera Husaria. So yeah, you hope to um, be a part of the exhibit next year. What can you bring uh, to the table that perhaps other people can't and what are you hoping to gain from it as well? We um, are going to finish the second prototype uh, this year. Um, it will be looking like uh, this one on the picture. Uh, after preparation, the car uh, will come with it to have the uh, official launch of this brand here in um, Geneva and to start collecting deposits. Um, now, you told us a little bit about the, the history earlier on. It was, I believe, from an initiative in 2008 it started originally. Um, but what could you tell us a little bit more about it and the UK influence as well? Uh, yes, in the year 2010, uh, we met and uh, have invited for cooperation Lenovo. He is a mm, well-known British engineer mm, and designer. Mm, thanks to his help, uh, we are now where we are. Uh, one year later, meaning uh, 2011, mm, we have presented our first prototype. Uh, it was presented in Warsaw, uh, and the next three years, uh, 
it was still very uh, hard to work to, to have the final design of the car and to meet uh, the needs of the people who like the final uh, design of it. And one of the interesting things I read is that people, car companies, are struggling to get smaller models, cheaper models to sell. But these magnificent supercars, you know, th as I said, they're making them or, they, or they're selling them before they make them. Is this something that you wanted to get sort of the attraction of the market? We believe that uh, because of a very reasonable starting price, mm, we'll be able to produce and sell uh, up to 1,000 uh, cars a year. What is important, uh, we are not going to produce it uh, with our own hands in the company, but we'll be uh, cooperating with um, one of the biggest, if not the biggest, uh, car plant in Poland. Um, they are producing uh, cars for General Motors, um, and uh, it's going to be really uh, the biggest possible quality of the final product for the client. What's important, every car will be sold on special order, so uh, we believe that uh, the medium price can uh, even be over 150,000 uh, euro. Well, I mean, for the everything that goes in behind it, the six years of hard work, as you said, the, the technology, the safety, everything, it sounds a phenomenal supercar, shall we say. Um, thank you so much for coming in and telling us about it today. Hope to see you next year and good luck with it. Thank, thank you. you very much for the thank invitation. You. Thanks. OK, well, that's all from Arik and myself for the moment. Make sure you click back to Dukoscopy TV for many more exclusive interviews. Goodbye for now.